the vastness of our universe and the mysteries it holds. But he thinks it too. Sometimes we feel as if we are the center of the universe, as if humans and our world are the only ones that matter. But recent astronomical discoveries have shown us that we are not alone and that the universe is much more diverse and complex than we previously thought. In today's video, we'll be exploring three exciting discoveries that have challenged our understanding of the universe. While our Milky Way galaxy is special to us because it is our home and contains everything that is significant to us, we have also discovered that other galaxies have systems similar to our own. This realization makes us feel both small and big at the same time. Small in the sense that we are just a small part of the vast universe, but big because we are still valuable and significant in our own unique way. So, let's dive in and learn more about the wonders of the universe together. Before we start, we would love to remind you to show your support by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to our channel for more exciting updates on upcoming videos. With that said, let's begin. Recent astronomical findings have revealed the existence of two twin galaxies that bear a remarkable resemblance to the Milky Way in terms of their overall characteristics. While spiral galaxies like the Milky Way are not uncommon, the twin galaxies are distinguished by their possession of satellite galaxies, namely Magellanic clouds, which share a striking resemblance to those present in our own galaxy. The rarity of these Magellanic clouds present in only 3% of galaxies similar to the Milky Way, adds to the singularity of the twin galaxies. As our galaxy is situated in the middle of a cosmic dance between these big and little clouds, they are visible from the southern hemisphere, serving as a testament to their awe-inspiring presence. However, the transient nature of these clouds is a reminder of their evanescent existence and potential disappearance within a few billion years. The discovery of 14 such galaxy systems with twin galaxies Having Magellanic clouds is highly unusual, with these two twin galaxies being the most similar to one another. As noted by Aaron Robofem of the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. Robofem and his team's discovery of the twin galaxies is a remarkable achievement in the field of astronomy. The vastness of the Galaxy and Mass Assembly Survey, containing data on hundreds of thousands of galaxies, underscores the challenge of identifying galaxies that are similar to the Milky Way. The fact that the twin galaxies have been found is a testament to the power of modern telescopes, capable of detecting faint companion galaxies, and the meticulousness of the researchers involved. It is fascinating to consider the implications of this discovery. Not only does it reinforce the uniqueness of our galaxy, but it also sheds light on the rare occurrence of Magellanic clouds in galaxies similar to the Milky Way. The transient nature of these satellite galaxies adds to their singularity, and the fact that the twin galaxies have them is truly remarkable. It is also important to note the significance of the discovery of the expanding universe. This fundamental discovery revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos and remains one of the most significant findings in astronomy to date. The sheer distance of the celestial bodies we observe in the night sky is awe-inspiring and serves as a reminder of the vastness and complexity of the universe. The challenge of determining the true distances of celestial objects in the expanding universe has been an area of active research and development for decades. This is due to the fact that the distance measurements of stars and galaxies and the redshift of their light are intimately connected to the expansion history of the universe. As the universe expands, the light emitted from distant objects undergoes a stretching or Doppler-like shift causing the wavelength of the light to increase, which is known as redshift. This cosmic redshift provides a vital clue to the true distance and speed of the observed objects. With the help of sophisticated astronomical instruments and techniques, scientists and astronomers are now able to obtain redshift data from a large number of celestial objects in the universe. This data allows them to map the distribution of galaxies and other structures in the universe and estimate their true distances from us. By comparing these measurements with theoretical models of cosmic expansion, researchers can gain insight into the composition of the universe and the nature of its evolution. One of the most fascinating results to emerge from this research is the discovery of dark energy, 
a mysterious force that appears to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Dark matter, another mysterious substance, accounts for a significant fraction of the universe's mass and also affects its expansion. Together, these dark components dominate the universe, making up over 95% of its total mass energy content. In conclusion, the measurement of redshifts and the determination of true distances to celestial objects have revolutionized our understanding of the universe and provided crucial information about its composition, evolution, and fate. The ongoing development of new techniques and technologies promises to yield even more exciting discoveries in the years to come. The exploration of the universe is a fascinating and complex endeavor that requires cutting-edge technology, astute observations, and precise mathematical models. Through the use of telescopes and advanced measurement techniques, researchers have been able to gain a deeper understanding of the universe's expansion and its impact on celestial objects. One of the most significant discoveries is the realization that the universe's expansion causes galaxies that are not gravitationally bound to us to move farther away from our view. By using the law of gravity and general relativity, researchers have been able to study the effects of dark matter and dark energy on the universe's expansion. One notable discovery was the observation of a distant supernova split into four separate images, an event caused by the strong gravitational forces of an elliptical galaxy embedded in a massive cluster of galaxies. This finding is particularly important because it sheds light on the amount of dark matter present in the Lensing Galaxy Cluster. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing, first described by Einstein, enables astronomers to observe distant objects that would otherwise be impossible to detect. By magnifying and distorting the image of celestial objects, the gravitational force of a galaxy or group of galaxies can bend light and enlarge the object behind it. The resulting cross-shaped arrangement of the images, known as an Einstein cross, allows researchers to accurately calculate the amount of dark matter present in the Lensing Galaxy Cluster. In summary, the discovery of the expanding universe and its impact on celestial objects has led to a deeper understanding of the universe's composition and evolution. The use of advanced technology and mathematical models has enabled researchers to explore the universe's vast expanse and shed light on the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. The observation of a distant supernova split into four separate images is a significant milestone that will undoubtedly inspire future discoveries and advancements in the field of astronomy. The study of supernova is crucial for understanding the universe's evolution and the distribution of dark matter. The four images of the supernova captured by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have provided astronomers with a unique opportunity to study dark matter and its properties. While the current four-image pattern of the supernova is only one aspect of the lenses, it is expected that astronomers will have another opportunity to observe the supernova after these four images fade. This will be made possible by the understanding of dark matter in the cluster, allowing researchers to predict when and where the next image will appear. The Hubble Space Telescope's method of taking pictures differs from that of a regular camera, as it takes images over longer periods, days, or even weeks apart. This is due to the light's path and distance being influenced by the surroundings it encounters before and after it leaves the source. Astronomers and researchers have calculated the distance and time it will take for the next supernova image to appear, making them well prepared for its arrival. The missed opportunity to capture the supernova of 20 years ago highlights the importance of having a thorough understanding of the universe's properties and how they affect the light that reaches us. Through extensive research and analysis of the data provided by the Hubble Space Telescope, teams of scientists and astronomers were able to confirm that the four images were indeed taken from a supernova whose light was bent and refocused by the dark matter in the galaxy and its neighboring cluster. The ongoing study of supernova and dark matter promises to provide invaluable insights into the universe's evolution and the properties of the mysterious dark matter. By utilizing cutting-edge technology and sophisticated mathematical models, astronomers are inching closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. How exciting would it be if astronomers are lucky enough to witness the supernova itself when it reappears? By studying the dark matter in the cluster, Researchers are eagerly anticipating the next appearance of the supernova, and they are hoping to catch it as soon as it shows up. 
It's incredible to think about the advancements in technology that have enabled scientists to predict when and where the supernova will reappear. Fingers crossed that they'll be ready to capture the next amazing event in space. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. What do you think about the discovery of these duplicate galaxies? Do you have any questions about the research or the techniques used to find them? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer your queries. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends who might be interested in this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting space-related content. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.